good morning class 12th today we'll be doing a topic from the chapter of general principles of extraction the topic that i've taken up is related to refining and we are talking about the process called as the mons process now this mons process the function is if you have an impure nickel which means you've extracted it and but the form of nickel that you've obtained is not pure and you want it in pure form which means you are just purifying it so the process that is used is known as the mons process and the agenda of the process is in this assembly as i have mentioned it is just a flow chart to understand the concept you do not need the diagrams for class 12th and neither do you have it in your course but still for better understanding i have tried to give you an illustration which will help you remember the topic okay so if i have impure nickel i would be representing impure nickel like this with impurities in it with this black these are the impurities okay while the pure nickel is be represented like this fine no issues now the first chamber that we have contains your impure nickel these are the impurities in it now this impure nickel you are heating it in the presence of a reagent which is carbon monoxide gas this carbon monoxide gas is purged in from here it goes up and you are heating it also the heating is around 350k but you do not need to remember the temperature you only need to understand is that your impure nickel combines with carbon monoxide to form a compound nickel tetracarbonyl which is a volatile compound is the agenda which means when you react with this you would find that the nickel starts to form nickel tetracarbonyl and starts moving out of this chamber so what you are getting out of this chamber is nickel tetracarbonyl this nickel tetracarbonyl is then taken to another chamber mind you the impurities are not traveling only the nickel tetra compound tetra nickel tetra carbonyl compound is volatile but the impurities are non volatile so the impurities stay back in these chambers but the nickel forms a nickel tetra carbonyl which is gaseous compound it moves on to the next chamber this chamber is called as the decomposition chamber in this you are doing an excess heating much beyond the stability of the compound the heating is around 450k which means kareeb 100 kelvin more than what you were using in the first chamber this causes nickel tetracarbonyl to decompose to give you back the reagent and pure nickel so you require four moles of tetracarbonyl that is your carbon monoxide to react with nickel and to form nickel tetracarbonyl which is gaseous you get your pure nickel in this chamber so when this compound moves here this undergoes decomposition your pure nickel is what settles down here whereas this is your pure nickel and what is left is your co gas which starts to travel up moves from here moves from here moves from here and can be reused in this step so this is the reused carbon monoxide is that okay so the agenda is you first take the impure metal this metal this process is only for nickel your impure nickel will first react with a reagent which leads to a volatile compound impurities should be non volatile so that this compound travels into the decomposition chamber where this compound has to break so the principle behind this process and we call it as the vapor phase refining the reason is you are transforming your impure metal into a vaporized product which is then decomposed to give you the pure metal so the agenda is the metal or the element should form a volatile compound with a reagent now this reagent should not be too expensive otherwise the cost of purification would be very high 
And the second step in this case is that the compound formed, that is this volatile compound which you have formed, the nickel tetracarbonyl which you have formed should be easily decomposed, which means it should decompose to give the pure metal, fine. So these are the two key steps for the principle of Mons process. Your metal should form a volatile compound with a suitable reagent which should not be very expensive and this compound should further be easy to decompose to get back the pure nickel which is what you obtain in the decomposition chamber. You are left with your pure nickel for usage, fine. With this I end the topic of Mons process. Do well kids, stay safe, stay happy.